Do you feel the need? The need for Speed of Doom! And we're back with Map 6 Dreamscape. Back to Darkwave. And back to Slime Bases. Possibly, I think probably heavily inspired by the Mucus Flow. But, as with all Darkwave's maps, done incredibly well. It is an undeniably cool aesthetic to take heavy inspiration from. And he's an excellent mapper in his own right, regardless of how much he wears his influences on his sleeve. And we start in a similar formulaic fashion again in terms of Darkwave style. A little bit of a hot start, we have to fight for your weapons. Party mixed it up a little bit by having this section. A useful blur sphere. That results in, well, this lovely, interesting carnage. The imps are cleaning house for me. Almost. They almost got the job done. Okay, so yeah, that's what the blur sphere is all about. Actually pretty handy, and not a big deal to be having for the next bit. Because, well, where do we go? The storage room, or the brightly lit, really sort of doing a lot with a little corridor. What I mean by that is, look at how relatively simple the texturing and the geometry is. And yet, I think it looks, you know, really cool for how simple it is. Obviously, once again, heavily inspired by the mucus flow, those sort of like silvery diamond hallways. Can you die, please? Yeah, man, it's hard for the single barrel shotgun. And yeah, I mean, it just, it creates this really cool looking sort of, you know, clean futuristic tech base. Okay, secret number one. There's a switch behind the crate. These cells will be very handy later. So this is where the Archfall came from, just a room full of health. And yet another secret. But we want to go over here. Now if you're familiar with this map, or if you've read the Doom Wiki page about the secrets, you might be thinking, what the hell am I doing? Don't you need this guy? Do you not need this guy? And I'm here to say... Let's find out. Oh my god, I was doing so good. I mean, pfft, that was just so sloppy. What I mean is, the Doom Wiki page thinks you need to archfile jump in this window. You don't, as I just showed. I guess using all those stim packs is no big deal, but man, I can't believe I poked my head out too early like that. Too busy talking about secrets in Doom Wiki and all oh lord knows what. Anyway. Let's get the hell out of here. You have to earn the super shotgun by getting through an ambush. It's no big deal, really. You can just run the hell away from it. Come on, Arachnatron. Let's spice things up and get you to do a bunch of killing for me. Come on. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes. Alright. Time for me to start fighting back, I think. You do get given plenty of bullets and shells in this map, so... Just don't need the infighting. It's just trying to have a bit of fun. Hey, bud. Get a bit closer, would you? Here, I'll deliberately come forwards a bit just to try and provoke infighting between all the guys over there. Yes, Arachnatron. Yes, Arachnatron. The kings of infighting. Well, I guess barons are, because they usually last the longest, but Arachnatrons seem to do the most damage. Go on, Arachnatron. You can do it. You can kill all these guys. And the other Cacodemon. Did you get it? Oh no, he couldn't take on everybody. But that saved me a fair few shells. Okay, who's still alive in here? Just imps. Grab some shells. Don't leave any shells down here. Couple. Don't even need the bullets though. Thank you, Arachnatrons. And now, the cavern you may have seen out the windows. We leave the base and enter the cavern. This needs the red key. You stand on it. And it will open if I have a red key. So, let's go up this part of the cavern, I guess. Base wraps around a few different places, but everything is quiet. Too quiet, some might say. Ooh, hey, the blue key. Ah, now it's not so quiet. This is an early and relatively simple taste of of the kind of combat that Darkwave does a lot of. Big open cavernous areas full of a mixture of dudes. So 
let's run around a bit and just let them uh, have fun. Now, in casual play, I usually just like to go through the blue door and kind of just cheese this fight by just bottling everyone at the door. But I'm trying to make a video here. You guys don't want to see that. Let's do this what I assume was a bit closer to the intended way. Just to show it off. And also, hey, see that Kakademon dying to imps? Good job, imps. I'm proud of you. Uh, I like the infighting happening in those towers. Another Kakademon got killed by the imps, actually. The imps are doing a real good job. And he nearly killed the chain gunners, too. Good stuff. Okay, I think oh, there's one more revenant. That's who I really want to be dead. Not that any of this matters. I should just start doing this. Oh, I have lots more bullets than I'd normally have at this point. So let's not use up all my plasma on these guys. Oh, my God. What got the killing blow on that Hell Knight? Was that me or the Revenant Fireball or the Imp? Well, for choice. An embarrassment of riches here with monster infighting. Okay, now I just like killing these guys ahead of time because we will be going up there soon. Now it's time to go through the blue door. Into this sort of room full of poo that someone's kindly put some grates down that I don't have to step in. But they've also rather unkindly left us some pain elementals. And I've managed to use all my bullets. So let's use a bit of plasma. Because there's more. Do, do a bit of pest control. And before we leave this area, I need to go to secret number three. Pressing that switch lets us go in here. And well, we just gotta go open the cage and get to it, right? Oh, not so simple. Friction floor, a very rare use of, well, good use of friction floor, slime floor that slows you the hell down. See how much slower I go on this? Really slow. So how do you actually get there? Well, you gotta use these stairs. Let's see if I can do this first time and easily. Yeah, of course. I even got back. Oh, but I. Oh, no, I didn't grab everything because I must have grabbed it before the backpack or something. That's really annoying. How did I not grab everything? There we go. It's worth it, trust me. I may as well just grab the cells while I'm here now. And look at the number of cells it's put me to. Blaze it, baby. Okay. Now. That lift brings us up to here, which is why I wanted to kill these guys. And that switch is part one of lowering this great big wooden door. So we can go into this cavernous area. Now it's time to go over here. Oh yeah, and there's revenants on these pillars. They're super annoying, but we don't need to worry about them. But now, just be mindful of them. And we want to lower this lift, so let's go. Psych! Oh! Well, I told you those revenants are annoying. We got a demonstration of it. The sons of fishes. And yeah, two reasons to run away from that ambush. Number one, you're totally sandwiched, and it's pretty rough. Don't want to use plasma. And number two, there are pain elementals. And I really don't want to have my face in view, because they'll just start spamming lost souls. We've got some really nice monster pathing here. They just came straight up to me and asked for a super shotgun sandwich. Which I serve to them like an artiste. Whoa. Oh, no, I've dodged the wrong way. I've got to dodge towards the wall. There we go. To make it explode. Where are you guys? Yeah, there's two revenants as well. They must have gone into the teleporters at the back, which is actually really good. That's like the perfect composition. Pain elementals at the front, revenants at the back. Sounds like a dance move or something. Oh, I've already pressed that. All right. Not really any need to pick these up, but I will. And now, the next secret. In this little nook, this wall opens. And we get ah, a computer area map and a blur sphere. And it's a reprise of the intro with the chain gunners. Easy stuff. Alright, now to get out our 420 plasma and blaze it. Do you remember when I played Amanda.wod? Walking through the words Amanda was very much like that. Another sneaky homing missile. Right, no better time to kill these guys than now. But there they go. And we come to the other tower. And press this, and now we can go into here. The Red Key Cavern. There is a little bit of pests to clean up in here as well. Pop up pain elementals. Oh yeah, because I have a blur sphere. I'm like, where the hell is that guy going? 
he thought he was going towards me. Alright. And again. He actually got one off through the chain gun. Damn. A rare moment. And I know that there's a lost soul behind me right now. But I've got to just focus on one thing at a time. Where did it... Oh, it went all the way. The angle was such that it went... You know what, I'm... Actually, no. You, there's no need. Let's grab the rocket launcher and the red key and start blasting. And the worst part about this fight is not that you're pinned in on a little ledge by Revenants, but all the way in the back are a bunch of Arachnotrons in, like, turrets, mucus flow style. And they will... Yeah. It's finally started to. I got really lucky this time around. See that? You can be fighting the Revenants. Sounds like one's still here somewhere. Oh, you got boomed. And then, yeah, these Arachnotrons will just start shooting at you and you'll cop the plasma while you're trying to fight the Revenants. Whoa! And they're everywhere. Anyway, why did I come back towards the Archfiles? Uh, the Archfiles, the Arachnotrons? I want more health. If you know this map, you'll know that I'm not done in that area. Not quite. But... I want to have 100 health, which I do, because there's a secret that I want to grab, and now is the time to grab it. Damn it. Well, close enough. Okay, still close enough. There's a secret here. Do you see it? This bit of the wall is textured slightly differently. It allows us to jump down in here. And remember that supercharge from the very, very beginning? Here we go. Pressing on this raises us to it. But, if you remember, Darkwave loves multi-story lifts. Pressing on the wall on this side of the room. This side. Sends us down for a Mega Armor. Two secrets in one. It's a really clever secret and really handy. Oh, I can get 200 from here with the health bonuses. Lovely. Right, and now to take out the rest of these Arachnotrons, I guess. Might as well. Mucus Flow Style. That's two Arachnotrons that didn't die to three rockets. That's actually really rare. And now let's go to the secret I've been talking about back in the Red Key area. Through the waterfall here, if you look carefully, we can jump. And come into a teleporter for... BFG! And what do we need that for? Getting the hell back out of this room is what we need it for. This fight would be nuts without the BFG, obviously. And this is yet another taste of what's to come in some of the later maps of Speed of Doom. Lots of fights like this. Close quarters with big hordes of barons and hell knights. And yeah, that's probably the, uh... Well, I used to find it the toughest fight in the entire map. So, it's kind of funny. You get the BFG to deal with getting back out of the room with the BFG. But the BFG's still pretty handy for this final fight. Just have to come clean these guys up. There's no teleporter or crushes or anything. You just gotta take these guys out. The old-fashioned way. And, yeah, obviously I waited until I had the rocket launcher to do this. Because it makes it a bit quicker and easier. Alright. BFG at the ready. Because I have the red key now. So remember I pointed out before you got to step on this thing? Let's do that. Ah! The first Super Doomans of Speed of Doom. Speed of Doomans. Alright, yeah, that guy in the background is annoying. So let's get out of there. The one in the back is stationary. So I can just hide here for a sec while I adjust in my chair. Taking keys off the, taking your hands off the keyboard is okay, but make sure for the love of God you're not about to cop a rocket. And let's do this for a bit. So I've found out that you can actually largely cheese this cyber demon, and I will to save cells. Doesn't matter how much it looks like you should be able to fire over this ledge, you can't. But he can walk up the stairs, so you got to keep a really close eye. And as soon as he gets any higher than where he just was, like that. Get out of there. Alright. Time to BFG. Come on. Got him. Two shot him. Well, after softening him up with the shotgun, but you get the idea. Alright, now this guy. We're not done in this room, as you can see by the kill count. I want it to be over there. Let's go over here quick. Do not get stuck on the demons. Just get the hell out. Oh, this guy's awake because I walked on him. I really don't want to shoot, because it'll wake up all those other guys. Damn it. It's 
actually really annoying. Cyberdemon, can you actually get angry at me again and fire a rocket in this direction? Please. Well, actually, let's just keep this Revenant in uh, base range. Oop, there's a rocket. Ah, oh, he's angry at... Cyber. Cyber. Yep. That's yours, Revenant. Catch it. No, damn it. Yes, he did! <laughs> and that's how you play catch with the Cyberdemon. Your turn. Did he kill everyone on that side? Yeah, he did. That's perfect. So then the way to deal with the guys on this side, of course, is you can just wait for him to shoot at you and then just run to the left. Get ready to just book it. Because obviously I'm pretty close here. Come on, man. There we go. And he'll try and fire his third rocket of his volley at you and hit these guys. And I have BFG ready for this guy when he's done. There you go, that's the, the very safe and consistent way to take care of this room. Kill the first Cyberdemon yourself and then let the other Cyberdemon just kill everybody else. You could also, like, as soon as the door opens, like, kind of try and run in there, wake everybody up. Oh, perfect. And this guy should be pretty weak from the demons he just fought. Insta double volley. There we go. God damn. Love it when a cyber demon just fires six rockets into you instantly. And well, two more kills. What have we got? Yep, these guys. Whatever. Just got to be patient there. I boomed one of them. Use the rocket launcher again then. Are you coming for me? Nice try. And there we go. Bunch of. Have I got all the items? I don't think so, not quite. Oh, so close, but whatever. Let's get out of here. Dreamscape. So, the longest map yet. Really, really cool. Darkwave just nails these mucus flow slime bases. Really fun stuff. And this one is, I think, considered by a lot of people, certainly Dean of Doom said, this is the first map in Speed of Doom that gives you a little taste of what's to come. Like, sort of letting you know, this is a tough word. And this is what you might expect in greater forces later on. Anyway... Uh, still relatively easy though, these first six maps I'd say are pretty straightforward. Map 7 next week, Simple Prison Yard. Let's read the text actually speaking of that map. And this is boom, I can just skip straight through. The armies that occupied the underground caverns could not stop you. After incinerating all the scum, you step into the portal. You then hear a faint but familiar sound, some kind of moaning reverberating through bars. You then mutter to yourself, time to kill some prisoners. Indeed. I'll just pause it there because uh, I think it'll go to the next map if I do nothing. So yeah, map 7 next. Before I started this series, it's going to go here anyway, goddammit. Well, here it is. You'll get to see me actually play this map next week. This map, um, I originally used to think a few months ago, like, oh, this is going to be the first big stumbling block. Is it going to be? You'll see next week. I've practiced it a bit. Do I have any trouble with it? Is it going to be tough? We'll find out. Yeah, I really, really like the first few maps of Speed of Doom here. I like the alternating between Dark Wave's slime bases and then all of Joshi's various maps. It makes for a really cool progression going forwards and pulls you through really nicely. Simple Prison Yard next. Is it the stumbling block, I thought? Stay tuned to find out. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Oops.